All right, producers, have you been replaced by AI beat generators yet? I haven't been. At this point in time, when I'm recording this video, if anybody is plugging in a prompt to an AI beat generator, getting a beat back and thinking, yeah, that's hot, they probably have poor taste anyway, and so they weren't gonna buy good beats to begin with. Now, am I saying the technology is not gonna get better? No, of course it's gonna get better. Right now, is the, the automatic beat generators are just not great. And somebody left a comment, which I thought was kind of insightful. I didn't, it didn't catch me at the time, but it's, it's been in my head, which was something to the effect of AI won't replace producers, but producers who use AI will replace producers who don't use AI. I don't know if I, if I completely believe that, I guess time will tell, but uh, there's a, a AI tool that I recently started using and it's done some pretty amazing stuff for my production, not just beat making, vocal production, sample making. I'm going to show you a, a couple examples. No, this company did not sponsor this video. I'm working on it though. And oh yeah, shout out to Wave Gods, Wave Gods official on Instagram. So the name of this tool is kit.ai. And I just signed up for free. I don't, I don't know if there are non-free options. I look, this is, this is new to me. It's new period. Um, what it is, is a AI voice generating system. Now that seems pretty straightforward, but I'm going to show you some ways that I've used this that aren't at all straightforward. I didn't think uh, that I would ever be using an AI voice generator for any of this stuff. The most obvious way to use this would be to, you know, play around with replacing your voice or with a, another vocalist voice and maybe switching from a male vocalist to a female vocalist or just entirely different styles and and ranges of vocalist. I'll show you what I mean. Here's um something Ike wrote. Baby, I ain't felt this good in a while. So I'm gonna bounce just his vocals and we are going to drop them into this tool. And let's try a female voice and see what happens. Should we try? Yeah. All right, now I'm gonna bring these vocals back in. Let's replace Ike's vocals with the new AI generated vocals. This is exciting. Baby, I felt this good in a while. And the love never met it of it technology is wild man all right so this is this is a very obvious use of this particular tool now you know think about what you could do with this you're a singer or you work with a singer and you want male and female vocal versions of each track well just drop it in the ai and now you have not one but two versions and that means double the chances to sell that beat with the hook maybe you yourself sing but you don't really love the texture of your voice. Well, as long as you can sing in tune, you can bring that into this AI tool and now it's no longer your voice. It's someone who maybe has a more palatable tone. Also, maybe you like to uh, reference songs, you, you write demos. Well, you're writing a demo for a male, but you don't have a voice that's typical of a male vocal. So you put it in, in this AI, now you have a male vocal. It's a more convincing and appropriate reference for whichever artist you're shopping this demo to. I feel like those are obvious applications for this tool, but I'm going to show you two other ways that I use this tool that actually blew my mind. So I wanted to make a sample, but I also wanted there to be some vocals in this sample. And so I didn't have a singer. Yes, this is me singing, but let's not get into that. I dropped my vocals into the AI and I got this. And added some harmonies. It's a travesty that I was born without a, an amazing singing voice. That took about a million takes. Then I added instruments around it and now I have a sample that, or at least the beginnings of a sample, I haven't finished yet, but the main vocal was generated by the AI. Like I said, there, there are a few people who sing worse than me and have worse voices than me for singing. So having run my uh, vocals through 
the AI allows me to put their vocals at the forefront of the mix and hide the fact that that my singing voice has just got awful. Obviously this sample needs work, but I like where it's going. The third way I used kits.ai uh, has to do with engineering, with, with mixing. Um, somebody reached out, they had recorded in um, BandLab actually, they had recorded to, to a beat that they licensed from me. They didn't have a great recording situation. So I believe they recorded to my beat through maybe their phone. When they sent me the vocals to, to help them uh, get a, a better mix, I was like, man, these, these vocals are kind of rough. I mean, I can do what I can. I'll show you what they sound like. Last of a dime braid on. So you can hear that they're, they're pretty thin, a little distorted. Now, what I was just going to do was brute force it, try my best, use as much EQ as possible, probably run it through, uh, through some RX-8 and fix some of the, the crackles and so forth. And you can only do so much. Then I thought... What if I run it through kits? What if I run it through AI? And there is a rapper voice. As you can see here, where is the rapper? Devin. Devin is the rapper. Of course, his name is Devin. So I ran it through Devin. You can use tools to change the format. You can, you can do a lot to vocals to manipulate their, their tone texture. So that's what I did and I got a pretty close match to the point where when I sent the mix back, the rapper didn't even realize I had used an AI voice over his own natural voice. What I did was I blended these two. So here, here are the AI verses. That's a dime breed on and you can even look at the, at the transients here and you can see that these are thicker. The vocals that he recorded on whatever equipment he had, it wasn't a vocal condenser, were thinner, a little tinnier, but when I combined the two, I'm a last of a dime breed. now it's fuller sounding, it sounds like a better recording. I was able to pull his natural voice a little further back in the mix, bring that AI to the forefront, just as I did in the sample to hide my voice, and I had a way better end product. The quality was better. I was kind of blown away by this, and it makes me wonder, you know, as this technology improves, is this going to be a viable way to not just save bad recordings, but actually eliminate the need to record everything in a, in a great studio? Obviously, you're not always going to want to do that, right? You know, it, it's, it's easier to just record in a studio, but I'm thinking, what if in the future you can just record something into your phone, right because you want to you want that idea the inspiration has struck you you record into your phone it sounds terrible and then you run it through an ai and that ai replaces your vocals with another person's voice or maybe it's even your voice maybe in the future we design our own ai vocal models and that way you know based on our on our own vo voices and then we turn that rough phone recording into a high quality studio quality vocal via some AI technology. You will notice with this is that these vocals are a little bit distorted even after I run them through the AI. I'm a last of a dime breed almost none in And the reason for that is because the AI just models whatever you put in. So if you put in a studio quality recording with no distortion, it's going to output a recording with no distortion. If you put it in with reverb it's gonna it's gonna come back out with reverb if you can't sing the ai can't sing either it's just modeling whatever you plug in so it's not a miracle worker but it is a really powerful tool that i'm honestly excited to use whenever the the ai stuff was coming up in the past i'm like ah, here we go again i don't want to deal with this but i was actually excited to discover that i could use this as part of my overall producer toolkit so kits.ai Check it out. I'm going to be covering more AI tools because there are a couple others I wanted to talk about. So may as well keep the video short. Hey, if you figure out another way to use this that I haven't thought about, drop a comment. I'm curious. Maybe that original commenter is right. Maybe maybe those of us who figure out how to utilize these, these emerging AI tools 
are going to be the ones who survive the inevitable takeover of the robots. Peace.